Hello everybody, welcome to this video. So today I want to make a tutorial where I am going to show how to do or how to make CDs and DVD case cover. For those of uh, for those of you, this video is for those of you who own a Canon Pixma MG53. To, uh, 53220 yeah so I hope this can be very helpful for those of you who are who are beginners and for those of you who ask me for help about this uh, topic in specific first of all you are going to need install the CD that came with the printer before I start with the tutorial, I wanted to suggest you something, and it's this, like, uh, sometimes, yes, I like to use this case for DVDs, and yes, I make a um, DVD cover, right, to cover all this part, and I just print and use any image I want, or that, and that can be adequate for my videos but sometimes when I just don't want you know like to wait to spend or waste more ink in CD or case uh, label cover or cover label what I do is that I use this as you can see it's uh, transparent and when, and when I print a CD or DVD as I do with that you can see that you can see uh, you can see everything through it. You can see the, the CD label and all those stuff. And if you want, you know, you don't need to you don't need to put like a a, a label on top of this case. But sometimes when you know I, I want to be more professional, I just use these ones or this one so uh, I'm going to show you this closer so you can see how this look these are memories 2011 and now I am going to proceed to show you how you can make uh, CDs and DVD uh, K, uh, case cover okay everyone this, as you can see, there is my printer. That's a, that thing that you see right there is the plate or, or where I put my CDs and DVDs. But we are not going to need that now because we're not going to print CDs or DVD. We are going to print a CD and DVDs case cover or case label. And let's proceed. So this is the desktop desktop of my computer and here I have this icon that is from the printer okay so when I do I want I do one click I hide all those icons that are on top and what I am going to choose from all of this is this part that is here that says show main screen so I just click there and then this here will pop up and when this appear all you're going to do is choose this part here that say easy photo print okay and once you choose it this window will appear and in this window you can see everything you can print and do with this printer you can photo print you can print photos album calendar stickers and layout but what we want to do is use this part in here that say this label case cover and what I'm going to show you today is how you can make a CD first of all, well, a CD, first of all I'm going to show you how to do a CD spread case cover or case label so when this appear here all you are going to do is here you have to choose what you want to do between print a disc a disc label or a case cover and what we want to do right now is print a case cover 
So once you choose between these two options, this one or this one, uh, then we are going to choose here where it says target item, what we want to do. And there you can choose all the option of, of all you want to do. If you want to do a DVD kit case or a Blu-ray disc case, you know, uh, right away, uh, these, these things here will change. But we are going to learn how to do this part here, the CD case spread. Now, here is where you choose how it's going to be the, the paper size that you are going to use. I am going to use a regular plain paper for this, and it is going to be just a 8.5 uh, by 11 so I'm going to leave it just like that and then there you you choose how do you want this to be you know what what kind of what kind of images do you want um, your your uh, disc label to have but as I'm not going to use any of these I'm going to stay with simple because I am going to use my own images so once I chose here that I'm going to print a, ca a case cover label and then I choose here what kind of case cover I want which is a CD case spread and I choose the paper size right now I want I am going to do to choose what I want to do with this first of all I am going to choose any of these options right here so if I choose the first one I'm going to have to put an image here in the back of the CD K, uh, K of the CD case cover label and another image here and in, the, in these lines here is where I put a text a title or whatever I want my video to be called so also you have a lot more options in here okay so here we have all these options like if I choose here I just have to say apply and that's it but I am going to choose this one right here then I say apply and then I say okay okay that was the image that was already selected now I am going to choose what image I want like ba as background so what I do is go here where it say background and I choose here if, uh, which I want if I want um, a background from the samples which I don't want if I want just to put single colors which I'm not going to use either no backgrounds if you want but I would like to use like an, a, an image like a picture from the one I have so I choose image file then I go to browse and then I go to the folders where I have the pictures you know in the computer and once I chose the folder for example I go to library pictures let me see like I'm going to use this own background and I'm going to use this picture right here so I select the picture and this part here it is if you want the image in the in the case cover to be like semi transparent you see how it changed or you just want it to to or you just want the image to be very bright anyway it's fine so I'm gonna leave it just like that with not uh, with not semi transparent so when I choose all the options I want that my case my my case cover label have I just should oh I should apply here you can set you can crop the part of the image that you want to use I am going to use all the all the part of this image so I hit apply then I hit okay I click OK so when you choose the background that you want for your case cover uh, label, you are you might want to fill this part with 
some pictures. For that, we are going here. Like there are four steps you have to follow to do before you print the label. We are now in, in the step one and now we are going to move on to the step two. Here we are going to choose the image that we would like to use in our case cover label. Okay, I'm going to choose let this okay and if you don't want an image after you select you drag them until here. If you don't want them, all you have to do is do this and you erase the images from here. So I regret from using that image. I'm going to use other. So let's say I am going to use uh, this one. So I, I bring this here down and once the images I want to use are here you can organize them by order like what image do you want to go in front and what image do you want to go in the back of your CD case label and then you go to the third yeah, you, I, I already done the second step and now I'm going to move to the third step which is called edit so here are the images that I want to use for this case label. This is only an example. So if I would like to use a only a part in specific of this image, all I have to do is double clip and this will pop up. So here I edit the image. You can see and read there what, what do you want to do. But for example, if I want to crop the image you see I just go here on top and I put this here and then I crop okay and here will appear the part I chose to appear here in this like in this part and then if I am not happy with this picture here in that corner, I just move it whenever I, wherever I want it to be. So once I chose the images I want to use in this case, uh, in the in this CD case case cover label. Okay, I am going to write. Uh, I am going to write the title or the day or whatever I want to do. So here is the text. So I, I double click on where it says text. And then here in this part, I just write whatever I want the title to be. Okay, so let's say vacation. Uh, I'm going to put. Um, Summer Vacation 2012 Here I use the type of words I want Here I choose the size of the words I want If I want them bigger or smaller And there you can see that, that You know the letter go changing And here I choose the color I want my title to be So I think I'm going to choose white And then I hit OK. And here I, if you want it to be bold, italic, uh, character, if you want it to have character spacing, then here you choose the positions and size of the words. And if you want to make some line or fill or fill text box, outline text box, there are the options. But I'm not going to do that now. So after I done here, I just hit OK, and there is the title. Okay, so if I want to write something in here, I go over say test. Uh, let me see. There is a little part that say text. The the word is in black. You cannot see it because you know for the image. But I just double click there again. And let's say I want to, I don't 
don't know, to write anything I want to write here, like blah blah. Okay, so I'm gonna again here I choose the the kind of word I want. Let's see, let's see, let's say I want to use um I don't know. Let's say I want to use this word and then here you choose the size of the word you want. Okay, here you choose the color. I'm gonna choose white. I hit OK. If I want a bow, I just put it here. And when I finish all I, I do is OK, and there is another word here in the back. If you don't want that word to be here, all you have to do is go here in the line of where that word is, hit, um, hit the right bottom of your mouse and just cut, uh, cut that and that's set. So, if you would like to save these templates for another occasion to use to print again, you know, for another occasion or whatever, you have to come here, you know, and you have to save it. And it will be saved in the disk labels. That is a folder that will be in your in your in your folder of documents. And every label you save is going to go directly to that folder. So in my document is where I have uh, yeah, that's uh, that folder that is called this label. So whatever I save, any label I save is gonna be there. So now I am going to hit. Well, uh, let me show that this label, of course. Then I I hit save, and my label will be safe in that folder. So I'm going to check. Uh, you will see um, see there is my disk label and anytime you want to open and edit it if you want to edit it with another things then you can do it so right now we are in the step 3 and now we are going to print it so we are going to st for step 4 after you um, choose here how do you want everything to be okay uh, you choose that your 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 print quality is gonna be standard uh, the number of copies uh, the kind of paper you are going to use I'm gonna use plain paper then just make sure that the printer is on, my is on, and, and the printer has paper too. And then we are going to hit print. Okay, and now we are going to see the printer doing its job. So I didn't use the paper that is, that is special to print to print a CD CD uh, spread uh, case cover. I use a plain paper. So now I'm gonna have to cut it, you know, in the size of the case. So uh, this is <laughs> how the image came out. So I don't have. Again, paper special for the. I just use a plain paper, and now all I'm going to do is cut it. So here is how it came out. This is the part that going front and the part that going in the back. As you know, I'm using a plain paper, you know, just to make this demonstration because I don't have paper, especially for CD and DVD case cover label. So this is a plain paper. So uh, this is how it how it came out after I cut I cut the edges of the paper. So now I'm going to show you how to put it in the box. Well, you have the option of 
choose a kind of label where you can put like like the title and some caption here in the edges but I did not show choose that option I just choose uh, a format that goes that the image goes only in in front and in the back and, and nothing in here but if you want something that have that have uh, something to put in this part of the box just go ahead in the menu when you go to the you know when you are going to choose what kind of label do you want to use you can choose that part so now if you are going to use uh, if you are going to use one of those labels where you write the title here in this part then you would have to take the box the box and take this black this black part out you see and then you would have to put this oh by the way if you would like the images to be in both sides all you have to do is just print in this size too so you can have images you know uh, in front and in the back so but I chose only one size to do this demonstration once I cut this this is how it looks like I am going to put this part in front this is the front part of the case the back part okay and then I am going to put this in here okay once this is back I just close this this is the final look for my CD case cover label so you can see how it looks like however do you know you know that I didn't use a a paper special for this I just use a plain paper so everyone I hope you like this video and the and I hope this could be helpful if you have a video request just leave it in the comments below or send me an inbox message in YouTube bye and I hope to see you in my next video